I can't imagine my life or anyone else's without music. I always felt that music is like a strong light that shines through darkness. When I first heard the music of the Romani musicians from villages scattered around Romania for the first time, I must have been 14 or 15, and the first thing I thought about was the places which nowadays we call Pakistan and India, the original places where they left on their long and safe journey, the Barola Chodrom. Whenever I listen to the music and whenever I ask people to listen to the music, they can almost hear it too. There is an old Indian proverb that says, that the roots of a tree cast no shadows. That's how deep the music of the Romani Lautar goes. If you listen really carefully, and you still have the opportunity to, because 10 years from now, who knows, you will be able to hear the past encapsulated in this music. There was, however, one thing that they couldn't take away from the Roma people, even after 500 years of slavery. Ten years ago, I was writing my first paper. I was in the first year of college. And um, I remember that one of my professors, who shall remain nameless for this uh, talk, suggested that I shouldn't write the words gypsy musician in my paper. I don't know if he did it out of conviction. I don't know if he did it because somebody suggested that to you. But that's what he told me. I was 18 years old, I wanted to get my paper published, so I agreed. In that moment, I realized that I also started to exterminate any kind of reflection that I previously had of the Roma musicians living in complete and desolate chronic poverty all around Romania. When I grew a little older, I went to the National Institute of Folklore in Bucharest, and I heard the classic old songs of the Romanian people who uh, teenagers in high school still have to learn rigidly because they have their baccalaureate exam to take. When I listen to Miorita, to Toma Ali Mosher, to Antofita Luviuara, Sharpele, Radu Angel, or the other classical Romanian songs, I realized that all of the musicians that recorded them in the 20s and the 30s were Roma, and that the Romanian people completely ignore that. I felt that it was my duty to remind them from time to time. This instrument is called the kobza. It is arguably the oldest stringed instrument in the Balkan Peninsula. It is a local adaptation of the Persian barbat and the Arabic oud brought to Wallachia and Moldova by itinerant Romani musicians, probably on horseback, brought as slaves by the Mongol horde in the 13th century, led by the world-famous Genghis Khan. I told you earlier that even after 500 years of slavery, they couldn't take away one thing, music. Yet, today, there are less than 15 people playing this instrument, and most of them are well over 60. I started connecting the dots when I was a teenager. And since this is the final presentation for this part, I would very much like to play more than talk. Primavera, quando se te mai vedem, ya tre 
Care cu vara nu știu Venitoarea n-aș o văzui O mândra îmi petrecui Cu mândra îmi petrecui mă Și-am s-o las la primă vară Până-mi iuda ghiocei Să mă jeluiesc la ei ca la frăță ori de-ai mei, Ca la frăță ori de-ai mei, mă. Ai, o, fo, fo, E vară, vară, muma noastră, I-am zăpada după coastă, Măi, și mi-o face rotocoale numai că Pot sta în picioare să-mi văz Pe ciorei pe afară copilași în pielea goală Și pe mândra nișoară Și pe mândra nișoară Spurdând ca o căprioară, surioară, căprioară, Nu, nu fi hoață și mari chioală, Scoală-te în două picioare Și-mi ra de codrupă poale, Ra de mi poala codrului, și foaia roagă azului, Și foaia roagă azului, Și foaia roagă azului, Și foaia roagă azului. Să vă zmat ca râului, Unde râul să cotește și apa să vâltore, Ște ciocănește, bocănește, Aaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa